Hello everybody and welcome back. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at Paul McCartney's latest album, Egypt Station. Now this album was released in September of 2018 and this is May of 2019 and we're still talking about this album and the reason is that this album has had probably the most different variations of the same album that I've ever seen and we'll get to that at the end of the video here and we'll show you what what has come out today. Uh, if we head back to September of 2018, we'll all remember that Target had an exclusive edition of Paul McCartney's album on CD. This came with the green rubber band holding everything together. This is kind of a concertina uh, album jacket. And what made this an exclusive is that there was two bonus tracks on here. And those weren't available on the standard ed edition of the CD. So I wanted to get the, the Target exclusive to get those extra tracks. Um, we'll be showing everything here in this nice Barnes & Noble Egypt Station display that I was able to get. Um, I was able to get the standard version. This The standard version has the red band on it. Uh, it says it's limited edition. I'm not sure how limited the edition is. Um, but this has just got the, the regular 16 tracks on there. Um, so there's that one. I didn't bother opening this one because I already had the other one, so place that there. And then if you went to Paul McCartney's website, there was a limited edition vinyl release that was on orange and blue vinyl. And this came in this nice tri-fold uh, sleeve here. I've showed this in another video, so I won't bother taking the albums out, but so this was very nice to get this too. Just another addition to add. And then along with this Barnes & Noble display that I picked up, I found out that Barnes & Noble also had their own exclusive edition of the album, and that is this one here. You can see the height sticker there. Um, this is on red, uh, double red vinyl. So there we go, yet another edition of the album. All the same tracks as the standard edition. Uh, so you still have the same 16 tracks on there. And then come uh, November, uh, Record Store Day had their Black Friday event. And released for that was the, the single for I Don't Know and Come On To Me. So we had this nice little 45 there to pick up, and those were all numbered. And they came with the inner sleeve like that. Um, so yeah, just another nice little addition to the collection, I suppose. So we'll stick that in here. And then also on Paul McCartney's website, it, I found out that they also is, uh, issued this on a cassette. Now this is a an orange cassette. It wasn't too terribly expensive, and I thought it was kind of a neat novelty, if nothing else. Um, so I decided to pick that up as well. Just one more thing to add add to the display here. And this whole time, if you looked on uh, Paul McCartney's website, there was always this mystery box at the bottom that said Special Deluxe our super deluxe edition coming soon but it just i never was able to see it come up on there it just took forever uh, and i think it was if i remember right it was just about a month ago so uh, maybe around april it was revealed that there was a, a paul mccartney super deluxe it's called the traveler's edition now this was a, a giant suitcase uh, an actual suitcase you open it up and there's just lots of different memorabilia in there there's uh, the album they got a lots of uh well maybe not lots but they had a, some extra bonus tracks that weren't weren't featured on the target exclusive even and there was other uh memorabilia in there there was uh plane tickets and a map of egypt station a usb drive lots of different things a jigsaw puzzle and some playing cards um, but the only thing was that that was extremely expensive and I wasn't going to pay the, the hefty price for that. 
uh, to get that. So I unfortunately don't have that here in my collection. But they, there was an extra album included in that box set that had uh, some extra tracks on it that I was kind of interested in hearing. But then shortly after that, it was announced that there was going to be something called the Explorers Edition, or uh, I've heard it called uh, Egypt Station 2, which was the extra tracks that were in that Traveler's Edition, but just on a, a single or a, on a vinyl release. Uh, I believe you can also get it on CD as well. So I decided to place an order for that, and that just came today. It was just released today, so it showed up at my door. So if you'll join me, let's open this up and see what it looks like. And they're getting better. These are coming off in one piece. It's very nice. Now with the, the vinyl release, there was a, a colored... See, yet again, we got a new new issue here, and it was also released on several formats. So we have the, the double CD version, and then there was a triple vinyl, colored vinyl, uh, which sold out almost immediately. So I wasn't able to pick that up, but this is the triple vinyl on black. And as you can see, the, the cover art is a little bit different. It's got kind of a, a sunrise or sunset, maybe kind of a look to it, kind of a reddish hue. And it says Paul McCartney's Strictly Limited Explorer's Edition. Uh, One-time pressing featuring Egypt Station, six bonus studio recordings, and four live performances, and a download card. So here's the back. And here we can see Made in Canada. And this is not a, I thought for sure that this was going to be a gatefold, but I see now that it's not. It's just an extra, extra thick sleeve that these are all in. So we'll pull the records out here and take a look at that. And of course we got our, our download card there. All right. So here... It's not a gatefold, but the, the sleeves have all different artwork on it, so that's nice. Here's uh, side one, and side two. And for those of you who are interested, we'll take a look at the, the labels as well. So there's that one. And here's the third side and there are the labels basically the same labels as the, on the standard edition there for that so that those two would be the, the the standard Egypt station album just like on all the rest of these that's what these two albums are but the last one you can see here and a picture of Paul there. These are these are the the bonus tracks that we're we're looking to get. So what labels does this have? Uh, just a little bit different variation on the on the first labels. So so for the uh, the bonus tracks that are included here, we'll just go through those quickly so you uh, can see what what's involved there. We have the songs. Getting Get Started and Nothing for Free, which aren't technically bonus tracks because those two were originally released on the, the Target exclusive. So we've heard those before. And the next two songs, Frank Sinatra's Party and 62nd Street, uh, those two were, I, I found those were released on YouTube just a few days ago. I, I was able to listen to those on there. And to me, those two songs are really good. I think those could have been on the actual album itself, they could have maybe replaced a couple songs, uh, but those are very good, good uh, songs. So I'm glad to have those here. And then uh, the last song on the first side is "Who Cares" the full length version. Now I haven't, I haven't had a chance to hear that one yet, so I'll be interested to see what that is. That's five and a half minutes long. Um, and then we flip the album over, and then we have the song Get Enough. That was a song that was released by Paul 
on January 1st of this year and it's been really criticized by a lot of fans. Uh, it's just heavy, heavy auto-tune. It's not one of, one of his best songs for sure. There are some, some elements that in there that are, are good, but uh, the auto-tune to me just kind of ruins the song. But uh, Then next we have Come On To Me, live at Abbey Road Studios. Uh, For You, live at the Cavern Club. Uh, Confidant, this is live at the Liverpool Institute for P Performing Arts. And again, we have Who Cares, live at Grand Central Station. So now, with this expanded edition, we have looks like three versions of the song who cares so um yeah there's just another addition to add to the collection and i'm just hoping that this is the last variation of this album that he puts out um i don't know what else he could do <laughs> maybe a whole album of all the live performances from those those shows i don't know but anyway that's the paul mccartney it, Egypt Station Explorers Edition. So we'll place that here with the rest. And I ask everybody to have a great day. See you on the next video.